That's a funny photo, isn't it? That's what I need in the speedster. Too, you too could look like this if you buy the PBR. <laughs> Eagles. Why, why? Just why is that there? I don't know. But what that's missing is the fake, the scarf that's on a wire. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Constantly up on. Like the old the Red Baron. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a bit of a delay. <laughs> Unusual, isn't it? Um, I was away on holiday for a week. Um, it took me a week to catch up with emails. So um, if you experienced a delay some weeks ago, because these videos are always always done, you know, behind, um, that was why. So, yeah. Um, right, so I've got to kind of recap where we are with everything, because I haven't done a video for two weeks. Um, let's see what we can do. So this one here came in for a bit of accident damage on the front bumper. Um, it's now um, been painted, or well, replacement bumper is just waiting to go properly back together, which uh, uh, Grant will be doing later. That one there isn't an MX-5. That's in for an underseal and a few other bits and bobs. We do get a few um, other cars. That's really clean inside as well. It's done, it's like a car. I can't open it because it's locked. At least I think it is. But, um, I had a look at it and I thought this car's done like 20,000 miles, but it hasn't. It's done 60 odd thousand miles, but it's really clean. Uh, Mark III, under seal, speakers, um, replacing these here. Quite a common problem with these, they rust along there. Um, that's, in that done. that's back. A um, few paint things on that. Um, that's our Jasper Conran, that's had the front end. I think the last time you saw that, Jake was working on the front end because we did the chassis rails, found a little bit of rust behind that headlight. That's all now been done, it's waiting for time for someone else to get back on it. This one here is, I think, dead. You know, I said um, <laughs> a while ago, I was saying about how we don't break Mark 1s anymore. That seems to have changed. We've got um, two we broke, well, two that are due for breaking um, over there. And uh, now it looks like we've got another one. And obviously, I think you already know about that blue one. So yeah, all of a sudden, we're breaking four of them, potentially. Although, actually, I think the customer might take this one away because it's still got actually quite a long MOT on it. So I think they're going to take it away and use it um, and then do whatever after that. So I don't think we'll be getting rid of that one. Um, this one here came in for various works, which also included a, a differential. That is now done, a waiting collection. Um, that is a Monza I picked up um, and that one it needs minor work before we put that one up for sale a little bit on one I think it's both seals um, maybe the A pillars wheel refurbishment full polish um, all the servicing make it look lovely that is um, available to put a deposit on if anyone's interested in that prices are on the website or predicted prices depending on how far we take it drive type car still there must chase Mike about that. Been saying that for ages. Um, oh, ramp still broken. People that people that I'm dealing with for that have been excellent. No, they haven't, because they suck. Um, right. So Roy is on this 2.5 here. Oh, that's more than a plate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this is the one I failed. Oh. Oh, so you got? Hey. That's, a, that's, that's a, the right colour. It's the right colour. It's not. <laughs> oh no, that's the um. That's, that's uh, crystal blue. Yeah, crystal blue. Yeah. So, yeah, rear boot pocket, unfortunately. It's getting common, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just too crusty to do anything. That's really thin, isn't it? So, make, make, make new one. Okay. That's going up in here. Quite a lot of work on this one, isn't it? Yeah, lots so, and lots and lots. I'm loving Good the done. new spot welds. You can see on your arch. And, uh, and silver. Yeah. Silver as well. Spot welds along there. Yeah. Around the arch lip. And the other yes. sides, are, so that's, this has been the usual, isn't it? This one's been the usual, yeah. ink plus arch tub itself. Right. Um, and the other side is arch tub plus Everything. Full seal. Yeah, I'll, I'll do front seal on this one. Okay. Um, but 
but the other side is a full cell, which is much more service. Should we have a look at that front seal? Yeah, no, I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, can you? No. It's, about, it's behind the wing, is it? It's behind the wing, but you can see. Oh. And then this is having a full repaint as well, isn't it? No, it's this one's not, no. Oh, no. Uh, it's this all crossed in, it's blowing out there. Right. And yeah, it's completely not in the right shape here. Yeah. It's not up against the body. So I We're putting new wings on it, aren't we? I think we are. That's at a plate piece welded on there, you can just see it. Yeah. So. Right. Lots to find and dig out. Yeah. Jolly tea. So the other one's a full sill because it's grown out in the middle and being patched and it's just wooded. Oh yeah. So yeah. The okay. big old patch of up there. Yeah. So all right. we'll cut it all out and rebuild it. And make it good. Okay mate. Cheers. Um Jake is doing a seal on this one. How's it going, Jake? Yeah, we're in there. That's an M plate all welded in now? Yeah, it's all in there. So this one was a bit different, wasn't it? Because ideally it wanted a full cinem plate. Yeah. Um, but the arch is really good because cinem plate, as we know, comes up to here. Um, so what we that bit was actually good. So we managed to do like a, a, a sort of L shape yeah, and save the arch. Yeah, save the customer some money on some work that wasn't really needed because the arch is actually good. Um, would have made the job easier though, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but I don't care. Yeah, that's spot over makes everything yeah. these jobs now. A lot easier, yeah. yeah. Okay, mate. Right. Cheers. There's some, there's some mechanical stuff on this as well, isn't there? And yeah. fit in a half cage yeah. and under seal. Yeah, coolant. There's a, there's a coolant issue as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we still can't figure out. No. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> I'll come back to Chris in a minute. Um, Grant is working on um, this is one of our one of our sale cars um, whilst Chris is finishing off the Le Mans getting some of the mechanical stuff done so it's been full service so it's had new discs again with any car that we sell we will go through it and anything that is needed to be done will get done so that's had new discs pads caliper um, I think it's had a caliper the other side as well yeah um, I don't think it's done the rear brakes yet Headlights, they'll get changed out for the correct ones. Sad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a cam belt water pump. Yeah. So, we're cracking on with that. Hey? There's no, there's no marmite about those. No, there is. You re I think you either like them or you hate them. What? Nothing. <laughs> I got dirt there. Yeah. I hit my head on the tire. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts when it happens because it. No, like... no, it wasn't a hard one. Oh, okay. It wasn't. It wasn't a, a forward. The one that the one makes down. you feel like feels like your whole spine. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's always at, it's not at the bottom. It's no, because like... you roll into it. Yeah, and it yeah, gets exactly. deeper, yeah. It crushes you. Down. Yeah. yeah, I no, hate it doing that. A, it was a mild skin. Okay. You got away lightly. Le Mans's back. Yeah. So Le Mans come back. The, uh, Look at that. Good. If anyone's seeing any bits that don't look quite right in terms of paint, it hasn't had the final polish, okay? Uh, no, there is some hazing, yeah. like this, and it's had a, a plastic cover over it, so you can sort of see here, yeah. it, just, it just needs polishing and finish it off. This looks a lot blacker than what that is. Yeah, because... Yeah. The point it looks like it's aged about 50 years. <laughs> so the pattern is, I haven't got much left to do, um, so we've got a new panel coming to the bumper, um, which I think is sort of like the dirt, it's the panel that would normally come in here. So it'll be a new new rubber trim here with a new yeah. panel at the top. Yeah. Um, and that'll steer the bumper in and get secure the wheels in. Um, wheels are going off for refurbishment tomorrow, aren't they? Wheels are going off for refurbishment. Nips are being polished um, with some new... I think Dunlop uh, boots wrapped around the new alloys. Well, we, re we researched them. We've got a brochure with an old BBR turbo, which had an option of these wheels, and they had Dunlop tyres, so. Yeah, I'll find it here. Here is my. The annoying thing about this, I, had, I was keeping this for years nice and safe, and I had it in my workshop. 
drawer. It was that one there actually. And like this, it was there, and a a coke fell down into it and ruined it. Ruined. It ruined it. <laughs> so, but in here, this is this is the Mazda MX-5 Berbera Turbo brochure. These were in the Mazda dealership, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So you could pick this up. You got your 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 power graph there. Your power run. Um, but what we have got in here is a picture of said wheel wrapped in Dunlops. So that will um, the owner will be pleased to see that because he wasn't sure whether the wheels were originally. Yeah, but you were pretty certain they were polished, weren't they? Were um, on our one, um, they've not. just been painted. Um, we're going to change know, that. I mean, yeah. we'll change that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not fussed either way, but I think it probably could look a yeah. bit better actually. That polished, or is that a different colour yeah, to the, that? Um, or is that just a reflection? The nut does look polished, doesn't it? Well, polished nuts, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, could be a reflection. It know. is aluminium. Or polished? aluminum. I oh, would just have to paint them. I think. I think yeah, be better yeah, I can't do that. Um, but that has got a Dunlop tyre written on it. Or well, it has not written on it on it, but on the side of the tyre has Dunlop written on it. That? Yeah, it's polished on there, isn't it? Well, it's it does look. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Zoom it up. <laughs> Not working. It's broken. Uh, needs an update. Needs an update. No, it just works slower if you do that. <laughs> pages, pages end up turning. And the battery this. runs out quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you just fall asleep. <laughs> That's a funny photo, isn't it? That's what I needed. You a too. You too could look like this if you buy the PBR. Giggles. <laughs> why? Why? Just why is that there? I don't know. But what that's missing is the fake, the scarf that's on a wire. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Constantly up on. Like the old, but the Red Baron. You got your limited slip diff on it. Yeah, this would have been nice to have had. Do that. you know what? That's interesting because I didn't think any UK MX5 came with a limited slip diff, but. Maybe it was an option. It must have been an option. I spec it. I mean, I haven't read this, but if anyone wants to yeah. pa pause that. Pause. Pause right now. Does that help? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. So, we had some damage on the front bumper, didn't we, that had to be dealt yeah, with? Yeah, yeah. So, so the, the front part of the bumper had come away, and on the three mounting points, it was just literally hanging down. It was broken when we got the car, um, and it was it was always one of those things where how is it going to be repaired? Because I think the owner of this map, he's you know he's he's going to drive this car. It's not going to be driven when it's wet, but he's got plans to take it to Le Mans in France, and he's not going to poodle around in it. He's he's going to do 70, 80 miles an hour. You know he's he's going to drive it, and I put, and the air coming down here and then coming through here is going to be pulling on this. So whatever we did had to be like a really good fixing on it. So we all came up with the idea that put some C brackets in and then that will stop it from coming down. So there's a C bracket there, there and there and it's tucked in underneath that and then it's all... That's neat though. Huh? That's neat though. Yeah it is, yeah. Yeah, it's really, and it looks all. I mean, I think it was all taken off and then re put in and filled yeah. and made to look good. It's all bonded, all in here. Because if anyone doesn't know, these these are an over bumper. Yeah. These body kits, so it goes over. That's why you can still see the original bumper there. And you can see up there. Green and orange. The original orange, green, yeah. black, and the original. Matt's. If anyone says anything, Matt's really happy about this, and it was done on purpose because we didn't want to get rid of the the original. Uh, painting on this car and yes that could have been cleared up but he was way over the moon to see like all the original yeah. green and orange left on the inside of the bumper um, which is why it was all left so yeah and it, cool. again you can sort of just see yeah like, flashes of it cool Is there anything much more to talk about uh, interior stainless, I suppose stainless steel exhaust should be get it on the back um, and then I've just got little bits and pieces to do. I think I've got and then plenty of road testing. Yeah, Make sure there's no problems. Yeah, which I don't want to do in the rain. But no. 
moment it's just been that's all it is, has been biblical rain for the last sideways week and a half rain. sideways rain yeah Hang all right on. grant's putting a car on the ramp is he should we watch it Down there. Bonjour! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the side skirts as well. Yeah. <coughs> Orange paint on the hose as well. Yeah. I'm going to give these a bit of a wipe down, but. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. See you later. See ya. Right, folks, so I'll try and get another video done this week. Um, myself and Chris are actually, we're not here Thursday and Friday because we're off to the. NEC classic car show so we won't be here um, so I'll probably do another video on Wednesday hopefully we have some more to show you take care see you soon